So I have a professional piston stop right here. This one's made out of uh, brass. They also make these out of uh, plastic as well, but we're going to use a piece of rope to act as a piston stop in our engine. You could also use a uh, line from your string trimmer. You just need something that you can fish in and out of the spark plug hole that will stop the piston from getting all the way to top dead center to hold the engine in position. Okay, so I'm going to show you a, another method to remove this flywheel nut if you do not have an electric impact or an air impact, just using hand tools. Of course, the problem with hand tools is if I try to turn this, the motor just spins, right? So I need to make a piston stop. So I have a piece of rope here. I've melted the ends of it, and I'm going to put the piston at the bottom of its stroke or bottom dead center, and then I'm going to fill through the spark plug hole the cylinder with that rope. I'll get in as much as I can, and then I'll bring the engine up. At this point, the engine doesn't want to turn because it's hitting the rope, and the rope's nice and soft so it gives it a nice piston stop material to go against and I can then take this nut here and loosen it and there we go now a lot of small uh, trimmer type engines will have a clutch mechanism here so you may not be able to use a ratchet in a socket you may have to use a wrench on the end of the clutch and use the wrench to spin the motor free and break this, this nut loose. So, a couple different varieties. This is an older engine. There's no clutch assembly on it as we found. Once I get this guy off of there, you can see that we'll have just the end of the crankshaft in here with its flywheel key assembly and there's no clutch mechanism on this engine. Okay, I'm answering a tech question on how do you take a string trimmer apart when it has a clutch assembly like this? Let's explain how this mechanism works here. There is a clutch drum that has already been removed that would fit on top of this assembly like so. And when the engine starts spinning up to enough RPM, let's say 3,000, 4,000 RPM, at that point, centrifugal force is gonna move these clutch shoes out against the spring tension of the two springs right here and right back there It'll move these clutch shoes out, they'll grab the drum, and then that drum will start spinning. It's connected to a shaft, which goes down to your string trimmer end. That way the engine can idle without the blades or the string spinning. And then when you rev it up, then it starts to spin, right? So this is a centrifugal clutch assembly. So you've taken off the end of the string trimmer, you've taken off the clutch drum, but we have to get this assembly off and this threads to the engine. So that means that we have to get the engine to um, not turn as we're doing this. So what I would recommend doing is um, fabricating a piston stop using a piece of rope or some string trimmer line or using a plastic or brass professional piston stop if you have one available. Um, like I will do here in a, in a video that I'll link to this. And then putting the rope in the spark plug hole, prevent, we can prevent the engine from turning. Once we do that with the engine not turning, what we can do at that point is come in with a hook tool or some needle nose pliers and grab this spring. So I'm gonna draw some needle nose pliers right here and with my plier assembly, just grab the spring and work it out of there. If you work out this spring, you can wiggle these around, you can get 
both springs off and take the shoes off. So take the springs off using either a hook tool or some needle nose pliers. Once you get the springs out and the clutch shoes off and they slide right off of there, what you'll find is that you have a flat side right here and a flat side right here that the clutch shoes slid back and forth on. Well, with those two flats, you can then take a crescent wrench or any type of big combination wrench that is close to the right size. So I'll make my wrench green here. I'm gonna put my wrench on right here. And I can then go in a counterclockwise fashion with the engine being held with my piston stop that I fabricated. And I can then use the wrench to spin that clutch shoe assembly off the engine. So that's how you would remove this, is you work the springs out, slide off the clutch shoes, and then using a wrench to grab it, and a lot of times these are kind of oddball sizes, so I'll use an adjustable wrench or a crescent wrench, and then I'll work this off of the engine by spinning it, because I have the engine held with my piston stop assembly. I hope that helps you answer this technical question. Good luck.